Moreland's Radio Sport in association with Leak Building Society. Hi, I'm Tony Waldy from Moreland's Radio Sport. You're about to watch the best footage in this league. Sit back and enjoy the highlights from today's game. through those again for Leek Town and goal is Visser number two is Buckley three Keenan four Green five is Harrison six Watts seven Grocott eight is Riley nine is Parr ten is Smith and eleven Stevenson and substitutes Dene Aspen Rowley Scully Avery and Grice and for Hensford in goal is Voucher then number two is Yeomans three is Kelly four Thorley five Sutton fourteen Williams seven is Verma eight McCorkin nine Niven ten is Thompson, and their substitutes are Griff, the Sang, Wilt, May and Brown. The referee is Mr Barry Lamb and the assistants Mr Adrian Newby and Mr Jack Welsh. So it looks like Tom Thorley, formerly of League Town, is going to get us underway in the number four shirt and I'm glad to say this afternoon the Hensford numbers are extremely clear, black on white, unlike Witten Albion last week and so we're away. And, uh, it's uh, Hensford attacking the Kiln Lane end in this first half and uh, Harrison clears for a leak and towards Stevenson. Header coming in there from uh, number two, which is Lucas Yeomans and uh, what allows the ball to bounce and uh, it's uh, Niven who gets his head on it, Thorley, plays it off there. Where Thompson falls forward to come off the head of Buckley and goes back to Visser. And uh, you know, Visser on a cold afternoon, he'd have to get his first touch of the ball. Chance to whip in. One or two tall players for Hensford there. It's uh, Thorley plays it and Visser comes, punches, good punch, clears the penalty area. And Riley in support. Riley, right football into the box. Seems to lose his man and a good save down to his right by Boucher. Good ball in, uh, good turn on the ball, low shot, but the keeper was up to it there and a, a good save there. But it's the first real attack of the game uh, that we've seen after uh, several minutes of sparring away. And he finds Verma, a chance to run at Buckley. Cross comes Tricky Smith to help out, skips inside him and tries to shot from range. It's well directed, but Verma puts it out of the sky. Decent effort though at that range. Yeah, you've got to be really from uh, very accurate and uh, better than that to beat Visser, you'd have thought, from that distance. And quite vocal support from Hensford as well. Oh, I think they're filling the one half of the stand, uh, the uh, Kill Lane end. Yeah, obviously the coaches arrived. Yeah, it's uh, Verma, nice turn by Verma, chips it into the middle, header comes in and it's over the bar there and it's a corner. It's, uh, I think they've decided they're going to man mark Stevenson with Williams, that's the way they're going to deal with him. It's Green. Plays it in and again it's Williams who steps in in front of Stevenson there. He's McCorkin for Hensford. Over the halfway line. A nice ball through there and Verma will just keep this one in. He's got men in the middle if he can get across in. He's up against Buckley, edge of the penalty area. Goes one way, tries it across and Harrison gets in the way and blocks that. And then Green should tidy up and he does. Squares it to Riley in the centre circle. Riley, a little bit of space ahead of him. And he finds... Keenan on this near side. Keenan chips the ball forwards to Stevenson. Is Grocott, Grocott almost in there and Thorley got back with a foot in to put it out for a corner. 
Keenan's chip into the far post. Harrison again up for that one. And the ball is out of play. And it's goal kick. A, uh, a goal kick. I think the referee's actually got his black socks pulled up over his knees. He hasn't, he's not wearing tights. You can see. There is a bit of flesh there. There's flesh there, isn't there? there, isn't there? See, um, Unless he's got short tights. He might, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, he's yeah, not wearing stock, stock right. surely, is he? <laughs> I can't believe I'm even fashion advice from you pair, to be perfectly honest. Nice. Well, well it's um, a bit surprised I got leg watch on the referee, so... Uh, yeah. uh, and he's definitely the man in black today. He's got everything's definitely. black and black gloves as well. Black shoes, uh, black uh, you know, boots, yeah. shoes, shoes, boots, whatever he's wearing. Yeah. Buckley. Ball through for Carr. Carr breaks into the penalty area. He's trying to get an opportunity of a shot. Goka on his left foot. Stevenson now. Edge of the 60-yard box. It tries the chip and it's just oh, over. Not too far away. Not too far away yeah. at all. Uh, and there was a good persistent movement there. Carr did well getting in. And, uh, yeah, uh, that was a better move. Really was a better move. And uh, uh, they've got to try and do this. I think they've... The, the build-up play by Leek has been a little bit on the slow side, hasn't it, so, so far? And they need to quicken it up. They need to cut out these long balls, which are, you know, they, they can be picked off. Yeah. If they're accurate, they're really good, but uh, they can be picked off too. Yeah, Williams and uh, Sutton look a decent pair of centre-backs and uh, are doing quite a good job at the moment on Carr and Stevenson. It's Keenan again. Keenan to Stevenson. He's found a little bit of space on this left-hand side. Running now at Yeomans to the penalty area and into the penalty area. And he's cross too near to the keeper. Easy catch for Boucher. Finds Yeomans. And a stooping header from Keenan finds Chicket Smith. Chicket Smith to Stevenson. Wide on the left. Running at Yeomans now into the penalty area. Goes one way then the other. Crosses. Needs someone running onto it. And there wasn't really anybody there. And uh, the ball's gone out. It was a shot. Uh, it's deflected, I think, off uh, Trigget Smith, and it's a goal kick. Williams has his arms around him a little bit there. The referee's allowed play to go on. Carr into Green. Green to Trigget Smith, edge of the penalty area. Trigget Smith tries to chip to the far post, and a good catch by Boucher. With, uh, I think Carr waiting in case there was a mistake or it went over him, but uh, easy catch. Burma helps it around the corner looking for Niven. And uh, he's McCorkin for Hensford. A little back hill by Verma finds McCorkin. Tries a run down the wing. He's got Buckley with him. And I think he, has he let the ball go out? No, he hasn't. Here's Verma again. Fires it into the penalty area. With deep blocks, but into the arms of Vissa. It's even Stevens, Dave, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Limit, really. There's not a, a great deal of uh, goal mouth action at all, is there? Something to warm us up this afternoon. We do, we, we do. Yeah. I mean, Tony's doing his best with massaging my legs, but you know, it's not. I wonder what he was doing under the table. <laughs> so here's uh, Green. He's not, by the way, just to let you know. Uh, here's Green. He finds Trickett Smith. Rob Stevenson had something to say there. And I think it was something Thompson with the foul. Thompson's bigger than I remember him when he played for uh, Newcastle. No, I don't remember him Quickly being that taken big. free kick there into space for Stevenson. Stevenson and Boucher was very away, aware of that as he was out quickly to block Stevenson's shot. Anyway, so it's a corner which Keenan will take left footed. And it's a high one to the far post. And Harrison gets up and it appeals that it's gone over the line. And the assistant says no. Appeals from Leak there. Then Carr's head is actually hits uh, Harrison. Big appeals from Leek that the ball had gone in, but uh, the assistant was having none of it, and it's Hemsford now on the break, here's Verma. He's got, again, he's got players streaming forwards in white shirts, tries to cross, and Riley got down to slide that one out for a corner for Hemsford. To watch to Buckley, but there's two men there, including Verma, but nice little interplay with Trickett Smith, and Stevenson, sorry, Carr goes down under pressure, and the referee weighs play on, Buckley's in there, he crosses, and then it comes Ooh. off the defender, and the Boucher was going one way and he had to go the other I think to save a corner rather than a goal but um, good, good play on from Mr Lamb there allowing Buckley to take the ball on Kelly with a chance to cross here comes the cross in and one handed push away really by Vissa it was a decent cross in it out it comes to Thorley who hits it but off the end edge of his boot really and it's spun away for a goal kick goes inside finds Trickett Smith 25 yards out Back to Buckley, chance to play it into the box. Cross comes in, and it's cleared by White Shirt. It comes out to Riley, tries the shot on target, but not really any power, and an easy catch for Boucher. Yes. 
So, Mr. Ambrose is whistling. We're underway in this second half, and uh, Fenton Green punches it long down the field. It's gone straight out of play. A throw in. Just past the mural, if you know the F4 Community Stadium. And throw in on, that, on our side, which will be taken by Lucas Yeomans. And he throws it down the line. Keenan gets his head to it, picked up by Thorley in midfield. And he pumps it across field towards Verma. Buckley's in there, puts the ball out for throw and quickly taken by Verma. First time downfield to Trickett Smith. And then Watts, a high clearance towards Carr. Williams misses it really and then helped on by Stevenson. Carr almost benefits. Stevenson has got the ball, he's got Grocott free. And so the penalty area. Grocott on his left foot tries a shot, it came off a uh, entered player. League players that are complaining that that was a back pass, it clearly wasn't. I uh, know that it's was a spam back pass. Too, yeah, it certainly wasn't a back pass. They didn't make the most of it in the end. Uh, I guess that should have taken the first time. Yeah, he, he, did, he should. Uh, Williams, you know, is using his arms. You've mentioned before, and he, he's pushing and shoving a car yeah, quite a bit, is. you know, and he's getting away with it. To Verma on this near side, Buckley up against him. A bit of. Uh, trickery and then lays it off for Kelly Kelly's ball into the box it's a good ball in and it's a corner it came so, uh, then from the back are up and it's flicked on by Thompson beats everybody there so Sutton and Williams couldn't get to it and then the ball is out of play it's a throw into Leak got Verma supporting him here he is back pedalling Buckley tries to go in there Verma goes down appealing for a foul so it's clearly a jump there uh, uh, and uh, he was looking for the penalty broke on a lot of space there he was play through for Stevenson he's got uh, Yeomans with him he turns Stevenson trying to get on his left foot oh, he's oh, yes. Rob Stevenson turns against Yeomans and then he play, picked his spot in the far corner it was a pass into the corner of the goal pass badge and lead lead by a goal to nil <laughs> and that's the way you do it I mean Stevenson if you are looking for a way out I mean in the past uh, Leak have always looked to Tim Grice but uh, this season uh, Stevenson said that he was uh, he got himself fit over the summer he, he was not happy with his form last year he certainly got that he was a typical goal of his he, he loves to do this spin round and then uh, run sort of parallel to the goal and then uh, stroke in this case a, a ball past the keeper and this time uh, I mean the keeper may well be a little bit disappointed he didn't get to it he'd think it got no power on it should have got down to it but I think it came from behind players and uh, also he curled it it started yeah, off yeah, outside yeah. and just curled into the corner yeah. but every keeper thinks they're going to be able to stop everything so uh, so Hensford have found themselves a goal behind they're going to have to uh, come out a bit now if they want to get anything out of this game here's Verma he finds uh, McCorkin to Thorley the skipper and Kelly Kelly chips it forwards and watches across he puts that out of play for a throw in well, so Ndene comes on and immediately goes into the penalty area to uh, help out of the other end to attack this free kick from Louis Keenan here comes the free kick it's a decent one in and a punch away by the keeper he got flattened afterwards and the free kick given for that I think it was Ollie Harrison only been flattened by Ollie Harrison yeah you know the keeper, keeper did well actually keeper did well what I was going to say before because I and then for Leek long ball forwards it's uh, headed back by Yeomans but he's given it to Grocott who finds that Stevenson the goal scorer back to Grocott Grocott into Trickett Smith he's got a little bit of space tries the shot from oh! Oh, he's come back off the oh no oh, back no. off the post and crossbar. I no. thought that was in then. I thought it came off the stanchion to be quite honest about it. But anyway, it's a, what a cracking shot and that would have been a goal. If it only had gone in, uh, that would have been a goal of the season, wouldn't it? It was a now cracking shot. He flung himself high to his right. He couldn't get there and it came crashing back down. Off the, I think off the crossbar. And uh, Leek almost two up there. Decent effort from uh, Dan Trickett Smith. Here he is again, a little flick there for Carr, he's been held onto by Williams, he's held onto the ball, and he's fouled by Williams right on the edge of the penalty area. And really, the referee, he's got to stop his poly-poly bits, and he's got to 
actually start doing something because Williams has become a little bit, hasn't he? He's, he threw the threw a player down. Uh, he, had, uh, I think, it was Carl, wasn't it? Carl seems to have been getting the brunt of whatever Williams is is throwing out. But this is uh, uh, this is the danger for Densford because um, we've just seen a cracking shot from uh, Trigget Smith, which came back from the underside of the crossbar. This is perfect range for him, actually. Well, well, uh, the wall is about, uh, about five yards away. Yeah, this got to go so back. They've got to go right back to the penalty spot. Yeah. So you can tell you it's about 22 yards out. This on the edge of the D, fairly central. Trickett Smith and Keenan are uh, standing over it. I'll bet this is Trickett Smith. It's got to be Trickett Smith, hasn't it? Really? They're standing over it. Stevenson is in the wall, jumping up and down, trying to put off Boucher. It's a little push from Tom Thorley, and they probably know each other from Thorley's time at league. And there we go, and it's going, it is going to be Trickett Smith. Drives it through, and it oh, took a deflection, yeah. and it, I think that helped the keeper. It yeah. spun into his arms. But, uh, another decent effort. So it comes at Yeomans, who's a bundled over by Stevenson. That'll be a free kick to Hensford, to McQuilkin. Long crossfield ball to Yeomans. He's got Grocott with him, though. He goes back to Thorley on the halfway line. And to McQuilkin on the halfway line, slips it forwards, but Keenan steps in and pumps it forwards, and Carl will chase this one, but it should run through. And in fact, Boucher has to come and head it in the end. He's out of his goal. If Stevenson can make the most of it. He can't. Couldn't really control it, and the ball just goes really up into the air. It needed a, a quick shot, didn't it? It was a keep off his line, and he hadn't got the ball under control, so uh, that was it. And in the end, it was uh, spooned into the keeper's arms, wasn't it? It's Yeomans, then off against Grocott. Going to be taken by Richie Sutton. High ball towards the penalty area. Harrison heads it clear unchallenged. McCorkin there is bundled over, but nothing given. And the ball play forward, and Carl will chase this. He's got Williams with him, of course. Turns one way, beats him, and then plays it through for Tricky Smith. Tricky Smith in on goal, makes it. Play by Tom Carr. Yeah, superb by Carr. This time Williams couldn't get to him. Picked out uh, Trickett Smith. Tell you what, he should have had the one where he came off the inside of the bar before. But that one, he'll put that one in his locker as well because that was a cracking team goal and he took it, put it just inside the keeper's uh, left hand post. No chance for the keeper. 2 0. Bit of daylight between the two sides. There's a charge down Kelly's attempt at a clear. And, he's, and Kelly's lost the ball now. He's Tricky Smith into the penalty area. Crossing comes. And the effort there from Carr is a yard wide. <laughs> Kelly there giving the ball away on this near side. And uh, Mr. Lamb going to have a word with Tricky Smith there. Why? He's probably saying, good, good I don't know. He made Tricky Smith light. smile. Good lad. Yeah. Good lad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's towards the penalty area, but nicely taken by Tom Carr coming out of defence. Sorry, it's Green rather. Coming out of defence. He finds uh, Tricky Smith. Riley Stimson's come over to his right hand side. He's very free, got a lot of space. He'll play down the line. Carr takes it on his chest. He's up against uh, Yeomans, but Thorley back helping out takes it off his foot. The car keeps going. He's battled away there. Comes down. And it goes down in the end. Half-hearted appeal for a penalty. Nothing given. And then Grocott looks his way back and intercepts it very well there. And the ball is back with Dino Visser. Yeah, Carl went down uh, too easily, really, but uh, he showed determination there to re remain. He did, and Stevenson has kept the flick on here. Carl's in the middle, unmarked. If he can get it across, and a flying stop there by Boucher as uh, that ball was on its way to Carl from Stevenson. Carl was unmarked and just at the edge of the six yard box, and a good stop by the keeper there to block it. This is uh, Grocott. Gets his head to it. So by. Corkin is Thompson charging forwards with the ball. Finds V Verma, edge of the penalty area, tries a shot. Not a bad effort, but it was rising in a yard over. Yeah, he couldn't keep it down, could he? And actually, whether or not Verma's just got you know lost his stamina or whether there has been something that's changed in the leak for, uh, to to deny him, to dump him down a little bit. I don't know, but he hasn't been as effective this second half, has he, by any means? No, I, th I think they've stopped the ball going out to him yeah. as much, and when he has got it, he's getting doubled up on by Leak. 14 minutes to go. 
Yeah, Leek are managing the game quite well at the moment, aren't they? They um, they are showing it. They kind of footwork by Badger there. It was a, a difficult back pass, and he flicked it over and volleyed it clear. But Leek have got it back. Here's Stevenson edges the penalty area. Goes past uh, Sun, drives it. Did that hit the bar uh, or the yeah, side I think netting? I think it hit the side netting or the yeah. his stanchion, you know, the stanchion at the side. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think they're managing the game really quite well. They, you know, they're, they're slowing things down. You know, any any attempt, any opportunity, they're slowing it down. But they're also getting the ball and holding on to it. Don't they? So uh, that is goal kick is flicked on by Thompson and then uh, back on by Green and. Uh, up the loose ball and then does well and there's that turn of pace I mentioned earlier he goes past the man here comes Green he's got Carr begging for it here is Carr by the pe penalty spot Carr it. Oh, that was made by Fencing Green it was the, uh, the vistas were torn apart basically by that little turn of pace put them through and uh, yeah Carr deserves a goal doesn't he he's worked really well today he's, uh, he's been buffeted around quite a lot today but the ball in and he took it well and I thought and, you know, he's going he's to hit the post come by but he hit the inside of the post and uh, went in again keeper no chance of that one he'll say he's been let down but we said that what needed to happen uh, was they needed to isolate some of these defenders who are you know, the two mid defenders are quite confident in the first half but, um, but they, a bit of pace has undone them really yeah it's yeah, the pace of Green now he went past two players and then slipped it through for Carr he's asking for it Carr that was his last yeah. kick of the game yeah. he's been replaced by Tim Grice he's still working his way back to fitness but three up now with uh, what 12 minutes to go I think the league yeah. the points are there points are there